Hey, YMCA YouTube family. How are you today? It's Angela Williams. I am back with a, another Tabata class. All right, so Tabata is a type of interval style workout. So once we get into it, we are going to work hard for 20 seconds, rest for 10 seconds, and we'll have six full rounds of that. One round will be a warm up round. So, I've missed you guys. Um, please keep sending me your requests. You know, we are in a busy season, so I haven't been able to record as much as I wanted to, but I am back. Let's start our warm up. Um, you'll need a set of hand weights. Some of the exercises will use the weights, some of them we won't. Make sure you have a clear space around you. You'll also probably need a mat for the last round because that will mainly consist of core on the ground. Make sure you have water, a towel, anything else like that you need. Remember, this is your workout. So I am just facilitating, giving you ideas, giving you suggestions. I will always give you other options. You don't need to do a lot of jumping. Your feet can stay planted on the ground at all times. Just make sure you listen to your body, take breaks if you need more breaks, and push pause anytime you need to, okay? Also make sure you're feeling healthy enough to do this workout today, and if you're coming back from an injury, it's super important that your doctor has cleared you for exercise, okay? All right, so let's do it. Let me push play on my trusty timer. Or not, oh, there it goes. All right, so um, full body warm up. We're gonna start with heel kicks. So a nice chest opener to go with it. Step, kick that heel towards the backside. Open, exhale as you squeeze, pulling the shoulder blades together. <sighs> How you guys been doing? Hope all is well. I've missed recording videos for you. Heel touches. Good, nice warm up for the core and the legs, back side of the body. You're just reaching across. If you tap the toe, great. If you don't, no big deal, no worries. You got it. Now, we're not really going with the 20 seconds work, 10 seconds of rest in our warm up because I wanna warm up for the whole four minutes. Step out, separate feet, squat down. And up. So sink back into the heels like you're trying to sit in a chair. And we push through the heels, stand tall, squeeze the glutes at the top. All body weight warm up here. Some exercises to increase the heart rate as well. Here we go, high knees. So it's a little bit of a hop. You can slow it down, right? I just like to tap that opposite hand across on top of that knee. We're going for 90 degree lift. You can do a little modify here and a little halfway in that jump or full jump. You got it. Four, three, two, step back, reverse lunge. Switch feet every time. We just came off of squat month. Okay, September was squat timber. This month is October and it's abtober. So working on abdominals, working on our core. All right, stand tall, butt kicks. So we're going for heels towards the backside. I like to do a little runner arm with mine. You can always step it. You don't have to do a lot of jumping. So, this is our warm up. Listen to your body. We got side lunges and jumping jacks. And our warm up will be over. All right, ready? You're gonna step to the side. Step together, step other side. So, you wanna make sure in our side lunges, you're sinking the hips back and down. Weight transfers in to that heel. 
You got it. Sometimes I like to do a little reach. One more each side. Okay, 20 seconds jumping jacks. Anytime we do a variation of a jumping jack, this, totally acceptable, okay? Step out, instead of jumping. You got it. This workout is yours, okay? I'm just giving you some options. Recover. All right, so that was four full minutes. We should be nice and warm. I'm gonna grab my weights. We're gonna start all lower body round, okay? We're gonna start with deadlift with a knee raise, okay? So, you're gonna take it down, you're gonna come up, raise that knee, okay? Deadlift down, raise that knee. Working on a little bit of balance and stability and recover. All right, second exercise, squats. Then we're gonna go back um, to the top. Load the shoulders, squat down. Now, if this is not a comfortable position for the weights for you, you can always have the weights at your side, okay? You can always have the weights at the chest. It's up to you. Just options and variations. Recover. All right, so now one more set deadlifts, knee raise, one more set squats. Here we go, take it down, soft knees. Shifting weight, other side. Back is nice and flat, shoulders are pulled back. Recover. All right, squats. And then we're gonna go lunge series, side lunge, regular lunge. Here we go, 20 seconds, take it down. Exhale, press up, drive through the heels. So, our chest should be open. That means that we're not leaning forward too much to where I would lose sight of your chest, right? All right, bring the weights down. Now, side lunges, I'm gonna keep the weights down. We're gonna work one side at a time, okay? Almost a little super set on that side. Now, as you sink low into that lunge, you'll notice your ankle, knee, and hip should still be in alignment, okay? Sink back, push through the heel. Recover. So, same leg that you just worked for that side lunge is going to go in that reverse lunge, okay? Then we'll switch sides. Here we go. Stay on that same leg. You're stepping back, bending both knees 90 degrees if you can, or less, depends on your range of motion. And then you really want to push through that front heel. Stand tall. Last one. All right, switch sides. Side lunges, reverse lunges. Ready, deep breath, here we go. So we wanna make sure that we're not letting those weights pull us forward. That's where our core comes in. Strong core, pull the belly button in, keep it there. If you have the luxury of having a mirror at home, you can check your form break. Same leg, just going to step it back. <sighs> Here we go, last one before we recover. So, sometimes our sequence is like legs, upper body, cardio, combo, core, but we're going to go back to back leg rounds, all right? That helps get our heart rate up and recover. So bend your knees, set the weights down for just a little bit. Now, we have a little bit of upper body in this one too, okay? So we're gonna start with a lunge, clean, and a press. So that's gonna require some work 
from our chest and our shoulders. We're gonna switch legs every time. So take it back, step, clean, and press. Lunge back, flip it, press it. So we're working both sides of the body. One more. Now, we're gonna keep feet under hips. We're gonna hip hinge, we're gonna ski swing. So we're gonna use both weights, hinge back, thrust forward. So, it is a hip hinge, not a squat. And as you drive through the heels and stand tall, I want you to think about squeezing the glutes together. That just means squeezing that tush together at the top, it helps activate and break. It helps activate the back chain of the body and it helps from overextending. All right, here we go. Lunge, clean press. So we got two sets of these. Then we'll have repeaters and squat jumps. All right, one more set, ski swings. Remember, hip hinge, hinge back, thrust forward. Not a squat, go. Your eyesight follows the movement. Last one. Good, all right, so a little more intense cardio. We're gonna have one weight, we're gonna sink in that leg. Extend the weight, repeaters. So notice there's slight movement in that front leg. My knee stays bent, weights in that front heel, and I'm just driving in and out. I call these repeaters, some people call them knee drivers, whatever you like, and break. Enough to fire up that quad and the hip. All right, here we go. Squat jumps. I'm gonna bring the one weight down and I'm gonna use it for a little more intensity. As you explode off the ground, breathe out. You can always be here. Explode up, squeeze up at the top, lift onto those toes, recover. All right, switch inside. Sink down in that leg first, other foot back, extend through the upper body, go. 20 seconds, it's enough. It's a short burst, but what makes the interval timing challenging is that short rest. You got it, weights in that front heel. Recover. Deep breath in through the nose, open the mouth and exhale it out. One more 20 second burst, squat jumps, here we go. Remember your options, if you need it. Here, it's a squat, you can still be powerful, explosive, lift onto the toes, recover. Hey, three down, three to go. How are we feeling? Get some water, active recovery. So, all cardio now. We're gonna start with jacks. So, no weights, all right? 20 seconds, here we go. Regular jumping jacks to get us started. Remember, any type of jack, step it side to side, okay? Recover. All right, so now we have jumping lunges. You're gonna step back, I'll show you full variation, and then I'll show you options. So, you can step it in, stay low, switch sides. Stay low, switch sides. You got it. Or full on. Recover. How we doing? 
Deep breaths. All right, now we're going back to our jacks. Back to our jacks. Ready, three, two, one. Here we go, 20 seconds, jacks. And we got one more time for those jumping lunges. The all cardio round is tough because we work for 20 seconds to get that heart rate up. We have minimal recovery time and break. All right, doesn't matter what leg you start back with. If you don't want the jumping, remember, you're gonna switch and stay low. If you're jumping, make it nice and powerful, but it doesn't have to be fast. Use your arms, switch, breathe out as you switch feet. Recover, Woo, shake that out, shake that out. All right, frogs, wide stance in our squat, arms down, and you're gonna do a little lift off. So it's just as much emphasis on getting low as it is jumping. You can be here, low, raise on the toes. Woo, come on legs, and recover. How we doing? Those are tough. Those are tough. Now we're going low lunge tap in. This isn't a jump, okay? We're staying right here, tap it in. So, weight is in that front heel. It is strength, stamina, endurance on that one leg. Tap it, tap it. Stay low. Come on, I know it burns, I know it burns. Woo! And stand, recover. Shake that out. Frogs, one more time. Low lunge tap in, other leg, and we're done with this round. Three, two, one, get low. I want you to think, envision, frogs low to the ground, and take that minimal hop off the ground. If that hop is not for you, squat, breathe out, lift on the toes, break. All right. Other side, so we're sinking low, weight in that front heel. Ready, tap, tap. Do you see, right, working on hip strength? Also, stay low. All we're doing is tapping the finger stab, tapping the toe in. You got it, three seconds. Recover, woo, shake that. Out. All right, now, big combo round. Bicep curls as we squat, walk, okay? So bend your knees, pick up both. We're gonna squat, walk, side to side, bicep curls. Now, I'm doing a hammer curl variation because it makes more sense and it's easier to do the hammer curl and make space for the legs, stepping side to side. I want you to think about quarter squat position. Rest. All right, drop one weight, squat and a rainbow. Work in chest, shoulders, upper back. Take it down, rainbow up and over. So I want you to still think about squatting back, but as you come up, you're lifting the weight up and over it stays in front of the face. And recover. All right, in and out, pop squats. Holding this for weight, for additional weight, you're in that squat, you're in that quarter squat, leading, jumping out with the heel first. Here, if you want, step out instead of jump outs. Options, guys. Come on. Three, two, one. Recover. All right, last exercise before we repeat. Plie squats. We're gonna use this one. Turn the toes out. Added weight. Your tailbone is pointed towards the ground. 
So you've tucked your tailbone slightly, draw your abdominals in, pull that belly button in, and as you sink down, press, drive the heels into the floor, squeeze the thighs together. One more. All right, here we go. From the top, lateral squat walks, bicep curl, sink low in the legs, step it side to side. Breathe out as you step over and engage the biceps. Last one. All right, set one down. Squat, rainbow. Separate feet slightly further than hip width apart. Squat down, rainbow up. It's never directly over top of your head. Nice strong grip on it. Last one. How are we doing? We got two more, all right? In and out, pop squats. So sink down low, in and out. Here we go. I'm gonna fire through 20 seconds with you here. Know your options. Step out side to side instead of jumping if you need it. We're past halfway. Come on, you got it. Three, two, one. All right, plie squats, last time. Get your footing right, step out, point the toes out, tuck the tailbone, draw the belly button in. We don't need to jump these to make them effective, okay? We don't nearly work inner and outer thigh enough, so trust me, we don't need to jump these. All right, 20 seconds of rest. Grab your mat, core round, and you are done, okay? Core and you are done. How we doing? All right, so it's ab month. Let's bring it back. Start with crunches. Breathe out, lift up. I'm looking towards the ceiling. If you need it, you can have arms extended. I prefer arms behind the ears. Breathe out. Feet are on the ground. Heels are dug into the ground. Lower backs on the mat and recover. So now we're gonna turn both our knees, squeeze legs together. Here we go, oblique crunches. Same thing. Breathe out as you lift up. You just might have less range of motion here and that's okay, right? Your obliques are still gonna feel it. Come on, we've worked so hard to get to this last round. Gotta focus on our core. And reset. So come back to the center. Feet on the ground, push heels in. Tuck the tailbone slightly, engage the lower belly. Here we go. Our goal with our crunches is to get our head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. And recover. So now we're gonna get even. Turn the knees other side, heels together. Look towards the ceiling. And here we go, lift up. These first four exercises focusing on upper abdominals and obliques. And recover, here we go. We're gonna flip it over. Forearm plank, I'm gonna kind of shift just towards the side. Forearms down and hip tip, hip dips. Toes together, all right? I made an 11 with my arms, elbows are under my shoulders. I'm looking between my hands and I'm letting my hips dip side to side, but I'm not letting them touch the ground. Two, one, recover. All right, how are we doing? Shake those out. 
Whew. All right, side plank, forearm, knee drives, knee in, elbows under my shoulder, okay? I work on alignment first and then move my body. Keeping that lower hip up and then driving in. You can always hold a side plank and drop the knee on the ground if this is too much. All right, reset. Forearms, and all we're gonna do is lift one forearm at a time. Here we go, make that 11. Separate the feet. We try to not shift and dip hips side to side. Nice flat back. Last one. All right, bring it in. So, last one guys, last one. Gotta get even on the side plank knee drives. Forearm down, stack it, bring it in. Breathe out. Woo, we're almost there. Don't give up now. Eight seconds. And recover. Drop down. I'll bring my mat in closer. We'll stretch it out. How are you feeling? Deep breath out, right? I'm sweaty, just in case you can't see. All right, kind of crazy hair after exercise, drink some water. Start to bring your heart rate down, right? We'll do a little active recovery first, and then we'll start to stretch it out. So a few more seconds, collect yourself, have a sip of water. We need to start stretching lower body. I'm gonna stay down, since this is already where I'm at, and my mat is here. I'm gonna extend one knee forward, I'm just gonna lean into it a little bit. We don't want too much pressure in that front knee, but we wanna open the hip flexor and quad. <sighs> Felt good. Listen, 30 minutes of movement does the body good. Technically, our Tabata was six rounds, okay? Um, each round's four minutes, switch legs. So that's about 24 minutes of work, okay? Um, including the warm up. And if you remember, our warm up definitely got our heart rate up. So, 24 minutes. If that's all you got, right? Tabata is the answer. Nice, quick, fast, and it goes by so fast, right? You don't even really have time to think about what I'm asking you to do because we're just in it. I also like the limited rest because it helps um, keep our heart rate in that sustained effort that we're giving, okay? So, all right, have a seat. Crisscross applesauce, sit up nice and tall. Bring an arm across the chest. For whatever day it is for you when you're watching this video, I hope you have a happy that day. So if it's Monday, if it's Tuesday, whatever day it is, um, whatever time of day it is, okay? Some, some of our crew are early morning workout people who maybe are doing this video at like five in the morning. Some of our members, you know, early morning, but not quite that early. And then we have a lot of members who still choose to push play on their workout in the afternoons when they get home after a full day's work. So whatever time you're watching this, pat yourself on the back. You have dedicated time to your mental and physical health, and you've said it's important, okay? We have to make time for ourselves every day, even if maybe it's just a walk or, um, you know, a yoga class, anything. Doesn't always have to be a high intensity class. Movement is movement and whatever time we can set aside every day for it, um, we're better for it and we're more healthy for it. All right, let's take one deep breath. Exhale it out. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna try to start putting at least one video on a week again for you. All right, drink lots of water, move your body, 
Take care.